Hi guys, this is Ratchet's Raw, and we are playing Criminal Case Elite Mode, Case 6, Bayou Blood. Let's unlock Chapter 3. Oh yeah, one of our suspects is confessing for murder. Is it true? I'm thanks to Mr. Katrina. I didn't mean to interrupt you, but I have something to confess. I I think uh I'm pretty sure I am responsible for Lisa's death. I killed him by planting pins on that voodoo doll. Oh, please. What in the... You're the one who sent that voodoo doll to the station? No. Someone must have stolen it from me and sent it to you. I was so afraid when you came to the shop and showed it to me. Okay, this is getting weird again. You're right, Mr. Katerina. We should discuss this in a more private setting. Bill, go away for us in the interrogation room. Good take it, Katarina. We better take another look in Bilsa's shop and make sure this is the only thing he's been hiding from us. Oh, that's why you were so nervous when we first arrived. Do you think you killed him with voodoo? You may have, but you may not have. So, Bill, you made a voodoo effigy of Lee Dupree just because he put a little food cream in your gumbo? Lee tormented me. I've been eating at Chef Dupree's restaurant for years, but now I barely dared go in. He kept calling me a stupid witch doctor hick. I wanted to show him just what voodoo can do, but I never thought it would kill him. My magic must be stronger than I thought. Maybe, just maybe, I possess the gift of gifts? I had enough of this mumbo jumbo. Bill, apart from making a voodoo pin cushion of our victim, did you ever hurt him physically? Oh no, I never had the courage for fighting. But I guess now I'll never need to fight since I got super voodoo powers. Oh my. Alright, let's investigate his shop now. Did you have any luck, Katarina? I can only see voodoo stuff, but it doesn't help much because I don't know what any of it is. You found some red paper? I suppose it's worth seeing what it was, but I'll be done if I can piece it back together. Hmm, and that diary you picked up devotees and one of the shops is wearies. I wonder how it ended up here. Can you make out what is written on it? Okay. All right, let's restore the torn paper first. What? What the hell is this? What the heck is on that paper you found in the voodoo shop, Katerina? I can't make head nor tail of what's written. But there's our victim's name on it, you're right. Well, Yang seemed pretty familiar with Voodoo. Good idea, let's send a sheet of paper to him. Hopefully he'll be able to tell us what all the writing on it means. Alright. Alright. 18 hours, now the diary. Oh. What in the world is that? Oh, you're right, this diary must belong to Eugene. 
He's drawn himself there. And there's also a drowning, drawing of Shauna and our victim. Alright, there are hearts around Shauna and a drawing of our victim dead. Guess it can't be clearer than that. I agree, Katrina. It looks like Eugene is co cooked in a miniature romance starring him, Shauna, and our victim as the villain. This warrants another chat with him. This all sounds like he witnessed something and then he just doodled it all on diary. Alright, let's go talk to him. Yes, those drawings you saw in my diary are of Shauna. She's so pretty and so nice. She's the only one who ever comes to see me. We didn't know you were friends. What exactly are those drawings about, Eugene? Kusha Katria would very much like to know. Oh, well, last time I had an effect it was Queen of Bite, and Shauna gave me some of her food cream to make it better. See? But then Lee came, and he made fun of her for being nice to me. And then he tried to kiss Shauna, but she ran away. He was always bothering her and making her angry. So I swore to myself that next time Lee was mean to Shauna, I'd defend her. By killing Lee? Well, I know killing is bad, so I'd never have done it. But I'm still glad Lee won't bother Shauna anymore. There, I said it. Why, wow, you look like you're about to do something. So Lee was actually flirt flirting with Shauna, if you could call it chasing her around flirting, that is. So maybe that lock was she found in the wood shop was intended for her. You're right, Eugene mentioned Shauna gave you some food cream, which means she uses it too. Nice catch, Katarina. Well, I guess the course of action is clear. Let's go find Shauna and ask her about Lee's advances. Right. Oh, almost to the next level. Are you serious? You think Lee was flirting with me just because Eugene says so? Look, Eugene's got this crush on me and he just gets carried away. That's all. So you're telling us Lee never tried to get frisky with you? The guy had the moves of a five-year-old kid. Thought that he could make my life hell and I'd fall for him. Look, Lee was an ass, but he... I'd never have let anything happen. Can I just go now, Commissioner Katrina? I had to go clean my teeth before work. I can't serve customers with chewing tobacco bread. Whoa, aren't you a little young to be chewing tobacco? I don't know. Aren't you a little old to be wearing that shirt? <laughs> Roast! What's this writing on a paper supposed to mean? I had to take it, Katarina. I hadn't seen a voodoo spell in years, and this one is particularly well crafted. Oh my. The paper Katarina found in the voodoo shop is actually a voodoo spell? Heh. <laughs> I guess it makes sense, actually. Frank, did you even bother to read the thing? For he that lost is so great and intruded the secrets of the grave, I banish him to the underworld. Let Lee Dupree die unheard. Yeah, why didn't we read that? You just hurried up and sent it to Jan. Alright, that's a serious cursing right there. Now I understand why you wanted to send this to Jan, Katarina. Alright. It paid up. On close inspection of this spell sheet, I recollect several patterns typical of the Bios's very own voodoo priestess. You see that symbol, Katarina? It means she's the owner of the spell. Oh! So a buyer cursed our victim to death? Darn, people in the buyer sure take Grudges seriously. I agree, Katarina. Let's go find that cookie spooky priestess and ask her what her beef was with the victim. Yeah. He bought a love potion from you, but did he do something else? He failed to mention something to us. Come on, Ms. Wabayo. We know you cast a death curse on Lee Dupree. Kusha Katria found the spell she did in the shop. Hmm. Oh, 
quite possibly. I've read many death incantations. Whenever someone crosses me, I always have a little excess of ear. But I usually change my mind afterwards. Well, may we know what Lee did that made you want to kill him? Oh, um, nothing special. If I remember rightly, he interrupted my mystical tobacco chewing ritual. The ritual is thwarted if the sacred words fall on unsanctified unsan ears. And that boy was the least sanctified person in the bio. Now, if you don't mind, an ink of voodoo pampering awaits me. I have a new alligator scented food cream I'm dying to try out. Oh my. Okay, this is a perfect time to reconvene. Despite my previous doubts, you really mastered the bio, Katarina. Well, just one case. Before rest. <laughs> Thanks to your instinct and skill, we now know that our hero is a shrimp-eating, tobacco-chewing, food-cream-loving psycho, and I've matched the profile of several suspects. But it doesn't narrow down to only one person. All we need now is one last lead on our killer, but where do you think we'd find that? Oh, you're right, Katarina. We should return to the scene of the crime one last time. There's always something lurking in the swamps. Yeah. Maybe something crocodile ate. Alright, let's investigate the well, swamp again, but this time swamp boat. Or just outside the boat. I need nest. Well, it still stinks like hell down here, but I see that has to put you off the scent of our killer. He found a pocket knife, and it has our victim's name on it. Now that looks promising. I agree. Let's have a closer look at it. Why would you have a pocket knife with you? But a bird's nest? Really? I know my memory is not the finest, but last time I checked, our cure was wingless, eh? Let me know if you find our cure nesting in it. Ha! Ha ha ha, I get the joke. Suspenders. Um, okay, you found suspenders in that bird's nest. So what? Buy birds will make their nests out of any old thing. You wanna send those suspenders to the lab? Man, you really take this whole forensic thing seriously. As you wish. We'll see what Jan has to say about them. Yes, I take everything seriously. We are the police after all. All right, now the pocket knife. That was a quick collect job, Katarina. He found a powdery substance on our victim's pocket knife. And you also pricked my curiosity. Let's get this sample over to the lab and see what Jan makes of it. Yeah. Who would hide the suspenders in the bird nest? Question, Katarina. I don't believe I've ever met anyone with your instincts. The suspenders you find in the bird's nest are a vital clue. Oh. Wait, seriously? Uh, not going to sneeze though. 
Of course, those suspenders show traces of the exact same batch of shrimp sauce that was found on the murder weapon and in the victim's wounds. I tell you, those suspenders belong to Lisa's killer. Alright, Katrina, spit it out. How did you know it? Are you hiding stuff from me? Nothing, I was just investigating. Now, Frank, Katrina's just got good instincts. You used to as well, back in the day. Hey, I still have the touch. Anyway, good job, Katarina. Now we know Lisa's killer is a suspender-wearing freak. Alright. Alright, now the powdery substance. You say you found this powder on the victim's knife, Katarina. Hmm, interesting. Yeah, if you don't mind, can we be made privy to what's going on in your head? We're kind of trying to catch a killer here. Oh yes, yeah, sorry. Well, this substance is actually a residue from a cowrie shell. They're small shells typically worn as decoration in a person's hair. Nothing out of the ordinary, but now you told me it was found on your victim's knife. It changes everything. You see, the only way this powder residue could have ended on Lisa's knife is if he struck a cowrie shell with it. And how could that have happened? Exactly, Katarina. If he was defending himself against his attacker, which also means that his killer wears cowrie shells in their hair. Well, I don't know much about hairstyling, but thanks to you, Katarina, we're closer than ever to our killer. Alright. Well, you did it, Katarina. You battled through sticky swaths and charlatan sorcery to find Lisa's killer. I bet they never thought they'd be caught down in the bayou. Let's go prove them wrong. That's right. Who was it? Oh, it was you. Well, even in the first interrogation, you seemed not to like our victim, but that's because you killed him. And why did you kill him? Shana Knox, you're under arrest for the brutal murder of Lee Dupree. You have the right to remain silent, but... No, you don't understand. One of us was going to get hurt, hurt that day, and it wasn't going to be me. Aha, uh -huh. so you admit that you killed Lee Dupree. Well, I... I can't really deny it now that Commissioner Katria has caught up with me, but it was self-defense. Lee, he... He tried to force himself on me. What choice did I have? I couldn't live with myself if I didn't fight back, and he wasn't going to back down. Anyone who is as low as he was, as he was deserves a horrible end. Ah. Okay, uh, Shauna, that's enough talking for now, but you have to face up to Judge Dante and tell him exactly what happened. You're under arrest. Now, Shauna, you've been brought before us today on first-degree murder charges, but you have, been, you have chosen to submit a plea of guilty to manslaughter. But if it was self-defense, why did you have those three skewers on your person in the first place? The day Lee started working in a restaurant, I saw he had a violent streak. At first he just bullied me. But then he took a shine to me, and he wouldn't stop flirting even though I made it clear I wasn't interested. He kept trying to corner me. That's why I started carrying skewers from the restaurant in my bag. Just to be safe. And when he, when he trapped me in the swamp, I was ready for him. I killed him with the first skewer to the heart, but I added another two in his shoulder so it would look like one of the local voodoo freaks did it. Voodoo freaks? Shana, you're the one who sent Bill's as voodoo doll to Commissioner Katarina? Um, yes. I'm sorry for poor Bill, but when Commissioner Katarina turned up in the bayou, I was scared I'd be found out. 
I remember seeing Bill make a voodoo doll of Lee that had wounds in exactly the same places and, well, I knew Bill would believe he was the killer too. Well, as much as I pity you for the way Lee the Pre treated you, I must say that you have shown a cruel disregard for others in your cover-up strategy. I accept the plea for manslaughter, Miss Knox, but I am forced to send you to an institution for violent minors. It will help you build better coping strategies and a new life when you are released. People have rough lives in the bayou sometimes. I'm sorry that girl found herself in that position, but the law is the law no matter where you are in Pacific Bay. I'm not great with compliments, but I'm real glad you came to the bio with me, Katarina. No mystical mumbo jumbo can fool you, and that will come in handy. Yeah, nothing can stop me. Alright, we gotta stop here, we gotta continue playing in additional investigation. So, thank you for watching, don't forget to like this video, and I'll see you again. Goodbye!